The last vodcast we talked about graphing the motion of something that's either standing still, like a water bottle, or something with a constant velocity. Like I said, a pen moving at a nice steady 10 centimeters per second. Okay, let's add another type of motion to that. Okay, we're going to add accelerated motion. Okay, and we're going to change that. We're going to make that a green color. Okay, accelerated motion is when something is speeding up. Okay, that's the basic motion. Okay, it could be slowing down and stopping. Okay, um, or it could be changing direction, but we'll deal with that later. Just imagine something that's speeding up, something that's going faster, faster, faster. Or if you drop something, it goes faster, faster, faster as it goes down. Okay? So you actually did this in your last worksheet, two of your last worksheets. Your first one, you did a distance graph using an accelerated motion data set. And you did one with velocity with an accelerated motion data set. Now, what you should have gotten for these, okay? Let's let's focus on velocity. If something's velocity is changing, or in this case, if it's increasing, if the velocity is increasing, then you should see the line going up and to the right. I mean, it just makes sense that the velocity starts low, okay, at a certain time. In fact, let me let me pull this up, see if you can sort of see that. See how it's low right now, and then a little bit later the velocity is higher, the green is higher, and then it's higher, 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 higher. So what you wind up getting is, okay, if it's accelerated motion, the velocity graph, key here, the velocity graph is a straight line that is on a slope, okay? That means that the velocity is changing. That's this part right here. The velocity is changing. Now, obviously, it could go a couple other ways. Maybe it's not changing as much. It actually started off going somewhat fast, okay? And it didn't speed up that much. Maybe it's slowing down. If it's slowing down, then the velocity graph would go down and to the right, okay? Or maybe it's slowing down just a little bit every now and then, okay? But I'm going to go with the basic speeding up. The velocity is going up the same amount every second. The same amount every second. All right? So that's the velocity changing. Now, the thing about the distance part here is that the distance does change, but in fact, it's actually changing more and more every second. Okay? Uh, for example, maybe the object moves one centimeter in the first second and then four centimeters in the second second, and then 10 centimeters in the third second, and then 30, and it, so the distance, it's not increasing steadily, it's actually increasing, okay, more and more each time, and that's when you get something that probably looks something more like that, okay? So if something is accelerating, okay, you get a curved line, a curved line, because there is a changing change in distance. Let's think about that. Remember when something was standing still, there's no change in distance. When something has a constant velocity, you get a straight line of slope, that's a steady change in distance. But if there's more change in the distance, every single second, you get a curved line. Okay. Now that curved line could actually look, let's say it's uh, um, I don't know, let's say it's slowing down, okay? It might end up looking like this, okay? Um, you know, there, there's other options there, okay? But let's just stick with the easy one, which is it getting faster. You see the distance increases more and more every second. All right, so what you do notice here, though, is still a trend, okay? Straight lines above zero are no change. Straight line above zero, no change in velocity here. Oops. Okay. No change in distance here. This would be a steady change in the distance because it's on a slope. And this is a changing or a steady change in velocity. All right. So now let's do the last one. 
which is graphing the acceleration of these things. All right? Now, let's go simplest motion to most complicated motion, okay? If something is standing still, what is its acceleration? Here's my water bottle. What's its acceleration? That's the same as asking, what is its change in velocity? Well, it doesn't have a velocity. It doesn't have a velocity now. It doesn't have a velocity 10 seconds later. It has no velocity the whole time. So is there a change in velocity? No. And hence, when we have something that's standing still, its acceleration is a straight, flat line at zero. Okay? Let's see if I can get that in here. Yep, straight, flat line at zero. Okay, because there's no acceleration. Let's try a different type of motion. Remember the constant velocity, with a constant 10 centimeters per second. Now, by definition, if something is moving with a constant velocity, it's moving the same distance every second, is the velocity changing? Well, no. Well, you said it's a constant velocity. So, if it's a constant velocity, what you wind up getting is... Again, a straight, flat line at zero, okay? And that's because doo -doo -doo -doo, there is no acceleration. If something's standing still or it's moving in a cruise control, constant velocity, there's no acceleration. So two out of three times when we do problems in here, there's not going to be an acceleration. So your acceleration graph will just be zero, okay? But we did talk about something with accelerated motion in the previous two worksheets. You can also talk about something that is free falling as having a particular acceleration. Um, in particular, you can talk about it being nine, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Or maybe, and we'll talk about that later. But the idea here is that if something is accelerating, now in reality there are different you know, acceleration can change, but let's, let's not get too complicated here. Let's talk about things like things that are free-falling. Their acceleration is the same all the way through, okay? It's not going to change. It's just constant acceleration, and if there's a constant acceleration, there is a straight, flat line. No change in acceleration. Now, this green guy is the accelerated motion. There is a change in velocity with the green line, okay? It's an accelerated change, it's an accelerated motion, so there's a change in velocity. But with acceleration, there's no change in acceleration. It's the same acceleration the entire time through. Okay? So what you notice here is that there are three things that we can graph. We can graph the distance something moves, the velocity or the rate at which it moves that fast, or the acceleration, how much the velocity is changing, okay? Three things, and there's three types of motion. You can either be standing still, you can have a constant velocity, or you can be accelerating, okay? And these charts pretty much show you exactly what each of them are and how they match up, okay? So remember, acceleration is a change in velocity, okay? And velocity is a change in distance. Okay? So if the distance is changing, then there's a velocity. See how in the blue and the green, the distance is changing? Okay. Notice down here, in the blue and the green, they're above zero. Okay. So accelerated motion, the distance is changing. Constant velocity, the distance is changing. Okay. Same here. Acceleration is the change in velocity. Now... As you can see, velocity, the green one here, is the only one that's changing. Hence, acceleration is the only one above zero. Let me show you a little bit more about what I mean. Let me show you this moving man thing, okay? Bear with me, all right? So let's move this guy. Let's have him start at negative 10 meters. And I'm just going to give him a velocity of, let's say, all right, let's say one meter per second, okay? And here I go. I'm going to play. Take a look at his graphs. It's a constant velocity, okay? And notice, his acceleration is zero. He's not accelerating at all. But you also see here his velocity is staying the same. It is at the exact same point 
see if I just zoom in here, you see it's the same thing. And then his position or distance is a straight line on a slope, okay? And if we were to actually take this slope, okay, actually we could do that. He's going over uh, 20 seconds and he moves from negative 10 to 10. That's the rise. Oh, he crashes. Okay, that's the rise. That's 20, right? 20 divided by, what's the run? 20 seconds. 20 divided by 20 is 1. That's 1 meter per second. So 1 meter per second. 1 meter per second. Okay, 1 meter per second. And that is his velocity. Or at least it was. See that? That's 1 meter per second. Okay. Now, if somebody is, let's say, I don't know, let's move him to 2 meters away. Okay. And let me pause that. And I'm going to make his velocity zero. Um, let's, see, let's clear everything out. And let's play. If he's standing still, look, his position is the only one that's positive. Okay, he has no velocity. He has no acceleration. All right. So that's standing still. Okay, and if you remember the constant velocity, let's change him. Let's uh, let's clear this out. Okay, let's clear that out. And let's give him a velocity of, I don't know, let's give him a faster one, okay? Now, actually, see the faster one? See, his, his line is up a little higher. You see this is a little bit steeper, okay? So, but he still has no acceleration. Let's complicate his uh, movement a little bit more. Let's put his position to negative 10. Let's make his velocity 0 to begin with. Let's give him an acceleration of, I don't know, about one meter per second squared. Let's watch. All right. And I'll stop him. Up, oh, he hit the end. Okay. So let's take a look at this. All right. If we were to look in, zoom in a little bit. Okay, you'll see his acceleration is one. He's got an acceleration here, okay? And because of that, he has a changing velocity. He's got that upward um, straight but changing velocity. And his position is distance. See that curved line? That's what happens, okay? So what I'd like you to do is go on to Moodle and check out this uh, moving man little Java thing. Okay. See if you can uh, notice. You know when things speed up and slow down. Notice the difference. See if you know. See if you can predict some outcomes here. And um, you know you can even try some other ones. You can you can make your own. You can sort of have him move. You can try to make him accelerate and then slow down and then go backwards. You can do whatever you want with him. Okay. You can even crash him into the wall if you want to. Okay. So go ahead and try that out. And um, yeah, I'll see you in class.